The county sheriff now weighing in on a controversial discussion involving Spokane Valley Representative Matt Shea. He's accused of taking part in online talks that included proposed violence against liberals in our area. The details unfolding in an investigation published by Britain's The Guardian newspaper this weekend. Spokane Sheriff Isaac Knezovich told KXLY today, Shea has no use or respect for the constitutions of the United States or the state of Washington. And Governor Jay Inslee had some strong words for Shea this afternoon, saying there is no place for hate in Washington state, especially in Washington's legislature. Representative Matt Shea's history of hate has now crossed a new line. Our Nikki Torres is working for you with more on how this is affecting the state political climate. Nikki? Spokane County's sheriff and Washington's governor aren't the only lawmakers with something to say today. Other political leaders are also calling for change and calling for it now. Here's what we learned about Spokane Valley Representative Matt Shea, according to The Guardian's report. Messages dating back to 2017 show that Representative Shea was talking privately with right-wing figures through a group messaging app. In those conversations, Shea took part in discussions about violence against people they called communists. Shea even says he could get background checks on those people. All these details were revealed in The Guardian investigative report last weekend, leading other political leaders to call for action in the political party. Even Spokane Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich told KXLY4 News that these allegations are troubling, but not surprising. He also says Shane needs to be sanctioned from the political party and removed from all leadership positions. Washington State Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib took to Twitter Saturday and said, quote, I call on House Republicans to do the right thing and eject Matt Shea from their caucus, end quote. Tina Podlowski, chair for the Washington State Democrats, said, quote, It is past time to do something about Matt Shea. Adding Republican Representative Matt Shea crossed the decency line for most Washingtonians years ago, end quote. Others weren't as vocal. KXLY4 reached out to the Republican Party of Spokane, State Senator Mike Patton of Spokane Valley, and Representative Matt Shea himself. Our calls were not returned. If you want to read the full investigative report from The Guardian, we do have a link to that posted on our website, kxly.com. And this is a developing story. Stay with KXLY4 News as we learn more. Reporting in studio, I'm Nikki Torres, KXLY4 News. Nikki, thank you. We have